Hey guys, Kevin here, Life22. I just wanted to touch base with you. Um, I've been trying to put out more videos, and uh, yesterday I was going to put out one, and I forgot about it. Uh, I didn't get around to it, and then I was like, well, time has passed. It's old news, but apparently not, because the Times Herald picked it up. Uh, and then there was the other side of the spectrum. I had something else I want to talk about tonight, which was, you know, very pleasant stuff. So the first part isn't going to be anger or hatred type thing. Not bashing the Times Herald today, um, but I don't know if any of you saw this. Uh, the police in town are looking for somebody who is drawing, painting swastikas uh, around town, um, and and they say painting swastikas. I say attempting to paint swastikas because if anybody is a history buff, um, Hitler stole the swastika from a couple different. Uh, um, different cultures and things like that. So, uh, like, there's an African symbol for the sun that was bastardized in order to make the swastika, or you could say one of the uh, symbols from India or Hinduism that was bastardized to take the... So, uh, and I can't remember which one is which, but one of them, if you take a, you know, like if you like this guy here is drawing it at a 90-degree angle and parallel with the ground or the viewer, right? That is... Uh, that is the African, I believe it's the African symbol. It's it's a symbol for the sun. And then if you cock it at a 45 degree angle, it's the swastika. And then if you, f if you do a complete mirrored image of the swastika, you have the other symbol for the sun. So it's like in between both. Well, what this guy's doing is he's drawing a symbol for the sun, and which leads me to believe that it's a kid. Um, but there was other pictures where it is cocked at a 45 degree angle, which leads me to believe that it's multiple people. Um, unless this guy is in such a hurry, if any of you saw the actual footage where he's walking, done, if he's in such a hurry but doesn't really know what he's supposed to be doing and he just figures it's quicker to do it that way, but if you're trying to draw a swastika, you actually should, you know what I mean, if that was the goal, you draw it right, and it shouldn't take you much longer, which... In some of the other photos, like the minivan that was vandalized, has these same symbols. So, so the, I suspect that this fella here, or woman, um, produced those, those same symbols. But then there was another photo of like a window on like a grayish building, uh, and, and that one was actually cocked 45 degree angle at the right, you know, the right rotation for a swastika. So that person clearly knew what they were doing, and, and I think either way, the person intended to draw swastikas. Uh, but I think the, the police should be looking for two individuals, uh, not just this person that was caught on tape. Um, so, and then all I see on Facebook is hatred. Oh, what, what, what rebel? And like, you know what? I get it, right? Like, I get it. Like, yeah, no, I mean, we were all kids once, right? Like everyone's egged a house or TP'd a tree or bushes or whatever, right? Like it, it it's happened, uh, to draw swastikas, maybe, um, the, tr the times we're in, I guess, right? Like, when you were a kid, you just, you egg someone's house because it was a mean thing to do. Now you have to come up with more creative or triggering items to, to make people angry because, oh, you egg my house, girl. It would be back in the day, people gave a shit about their houses and they actually had to scrub them. Uh, you know, and that was, and, and people, uh, oh, those kids egg my house, girl. Well, I'm not going to do anything anyways because it needs a paint job and uh, to paint it for another 10 years, right? And that's the attitude nowadays. So in order to really piss somebody off, you attack the municipality and you draw Nazi symbols because, you know, the the, the term Nazi isn't the new trigger word for the, the, the era. Like, right, you called somebody a Nazi 10 years ago, they didn't give a shit. Like, oh, yeah, I'm Nazi, yeah, they're historic figures. Right now, one's kind of brought it back, and it's the newest trigger word. So, but, uh, needless to say, I mean, like, it shouldn't be happening, but there was just, all I see on Facebook is just people saying how horrible it is. Like, like clearly it's horrible, but, you know, the, the more people that are just saying how horrible it is, this kid sitting there on Facebook who's probably, you know, a member of one of these groups or whatever, because he's probably in high school or she's probably in high school, and they're, them and their friends are sitting around going, well, look what I did, ha, 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 uh, you know, and look at, look at the reaction I'm getting, and then that's, you know, that's just playing right into it. So, um, we hope the police catch them. Uh, I believe they should be looking for two people, maybe a group of kids. Uh, you know, probably the same little bastards that break into your car, um, you know, looking for chump change to buy their beer with, to pay their older brother to buy him beer. Uh, but that aside, so, the cool part of my day. Now, that, that was just talking about, like, current events, trying to, you know, and then I want to be able to 
TikTok current events and put out more YouTube videos. But uh, on my other channel, which I'm releasing a video tonight as well, uh, thanking a gentleman, uh, in two years I put out on my, my uh, home repairs channel, uh, which was the first channel I started, and I kind of did a few videos and then digital editing and all that other stuff. I, you know, I kind of fell by the wayside because I was using a GoPro and it takes a lot of time to to segment it all together. And then I just I never had free time for that. Uh, and I'm actually trying to put more videos out on that channel as well uh, because that has to do with the construction and it helps people and it's just I, I have a lot more content on it. Um, in two years, uh, in the first year of putting starting that channel, I put out a inter, uh, installing a vent-free gas heater uh, for homeowners and wh wh whoever, right? I'm just trying to help people. And uh, within the first year, I was the number one most viewed installation of a vent-free gas heater on YouTube. Uh, and th number three on Google, if you did a Google search on installing a vent-free gas heater. Uh, which was very cool, and you know it helped a lot of people out. I mean, we were at 125,000 views, or some some crazy amount of views, and I thought that wow, that's really cool, uh, that's really awesome, and we might be way higher now. I mean, it's been four years, and uh, it was like 60, it was like 60,000 in the first year. That was just like surprising to me, and I was like, man, that's that's really cool, and I should have taken that as my opportunity to jump on that, um, but I focused with stuff that you know like this channel I actually put a lot more focus on because this one as much as the other one's a nice one uh and it, it's good and it's it's striking home and, and and it's doing it has served its purpose this one is stress relief for me so I don't just blow up and start you know like ah I just I don't I you know I can come unglued or I can speak my thoughts I can talk about something that instead of making a Facebook post that gets buried or a, a, a comment that gets buried with everybody else's this one would you know I can put out a little video and talk about it um, and then two years ago, it was second year the video was out, maybe it was the third year, maybe it's been out for five. It was two years ago, somebody took my phone number off the back of the trailer. At the beginning of my video, I do a little, like, I'm playing the harmonica in the back, it, like, on a, on a track, and, uh, I do a little, like, you know, a little intro to my channel, you know, Kevin's Construction, you know, Fact Totem Jack Home Repairs, and it... And uh, in my tr the it w uh, ends with me shutting my trailer door, and uh, tra on the trailer has my phone number. This guy from North Tonawanda or wherever he was, he was up Lancaster. He was up near Buffalo, and he called me and he had questions and you know he had he had problems with a shutoff valve and you know what to do and blah blah blah. And I walked him through it. and He was very appreciative, and I thought that was really cool. Somebody actually hunted me down to you know get some advice on installing it. I felt good about myself, and you know it's always around the cold season anyways that people are looking these videos up because that's when you know they don't test their heater out in July. Um, but then a guy called me two weeks ago and said, Kev, I've got, uh, you know, I, I, I saw your video. I have questions, blah, blah, blah. I walked him through it. I probably spent an hour, hour and a half on the phone with him. A uh, nice older gentleman. I, I believe he said he was a military veteran today. He, um, and then, um, that was two weeks ago or three weeks ago. And he said, uh, you know, and I, I really helped him out, and, and I asked him how he found it. I said, oh, you must be the second person, and, you know, since I put these videos out that's called, uh, did you take it off the trailer? He goes, no, I, I thought your name was so unique, I wrote it down. And then I Googled it, and your name and address and your phone number all popped up, so I called your phone number and looking for some advice. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. And me and him got to talking, and, and he thanked me for all my help. And today, in the mail, I received homemade butter cookies from him and his wife Bonnie and uh, um, it was just it was uh, really cool stuff I mean like uh, and I know most of you guys are saying like listen you know like don't trust cookies from strangers but like this is a very this is this is an elderly, an elderly gentleman and he was like why would you just go hunt down somebody online and send him poison right like it, it's it's like I'm I'm going to eat them a day before my kids, of course, you know what I mean? Like, you just got to be safe. But, I mean, it was just nice that this guy sent me cookies and, and you know what I mean? Like, took time out of his day. And then he called me today to let me know that he sent me cookies. And I said, you know what? I just got them, actually. Um, I was trying to figure out who I knew in Illinois that uh, would have sent me a box. Uh, and it was, you know, and then it clicked. Like, it was a tin inside of it. I was like, I didn't, before, before I even opened it, I was like, oh, it's a tin. It's got to be, it's the cookies. It's cookies. It's, it's got and cookies. And I was like, this is, it's too cool. And he told me about the new heater he bought and where he was going to put it. And, you know, like maybe some of the problems he had with the old one was, you know, he bought the floor model. 
and, and then he was telling me about, um, you know, how his Christmas is going to be. He got my email from me. He's going to send me pictures of, of his little babies, which are his dogs. He, he raises beagles. He's, uh, he, he raises beagles as a bird dog and for show. W really cool stuff, you know what I mean? Just from helping a guy out, putting in a gas heater on a YouTube video. Four, years, four or five years later, I get a phone call, and now I have cookies to share with my kids. And an awesome story I can take with me the rest of my life. And it just, it was just that cool. And uh, I told him I would reciprocate, you know, like his, his photos of his babies with photos of my kids because we were talking about my kids. And, you know, his kids are, you know, moved away and now they move back. And, you know, they're in the, they're in the guest portion of the house that it's very cold. And, you know, they want to they wanna make sure that they have heat. And that was the purpose of it. And it just, very heartwarming stuff. So, um, and in case I don't put another video out before Christmas, I wanted to, uh, uh, there's going to be a couple out on Christmas. Uh, Last year we did the kids' opening presents, and this year I've got another little thing planned. Um, but uh, in case I don't talk to you beforehand, um, happy Christmas, uh, or Merry Christmas, uh, you know, happy Christmas Eve. Um, spend time with your family um, from from our channel, from our family to yours, viewers, subscribers, who are you, whoever, constituents, uh, fa friends and family. Uh, from us to you, um, Merry Christmas and, um, and Happy New Year, and... Um, you know, we'll see you guys maybe in a couple days. Definitely Christmas. So, thanks guys.